Hello there, this is Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific. So please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Y'all, I had to get myself situated like five times before I felt right. <laughs> I don't know why. Today has been a very weird day, so I'm curious to see what wants to come through in the cards. Bon weekend, I would say, or bon noche. It's so funny because this stuck out to me earlier and I didn't really say anything. But I felt it and I'm like looking at it again and I'm feeling it again. Somebody here has a very split second decision to make. I don't know why, but this guy right here with the two pistols, it just feels, that's the two of wands, by the way, it just feels like a very quick decision needs to be made. We have the Empress. Mm, don't we just love the Empress? <laughs> It has everything to do with the Empress. That's what it feels like. Six of Wands. There's justice coming in for an Empress. Okay. This is victory after a long battle for this Empress energy. This could be Divine Feminine Collective with justice on her side. For some of you, you recently won a case. Or there's something that's going to go in your favor. If you are going through legal matters and this, the rest of this reading resonates with you. There's some kind of win here. Somebody feels vindicated in whatever this is. This decision includes them. Okay. So that's nice. With the magician to the wheel of fortune, this could have something to do with good karma coming one's way, especially with the ace of pentacles and the star behind it. Destined new beginnings. <laughs> Manifested good fortune and good karma. Justice on one side. Victory. Someone's name here could be Jasmine. Okay. And the Empress. Wow. Libra. Taurus. Aries. Aquarius. Let's see where this goes. So far, so good. That slapped me in my face. Queen of Swords. Someone's cutoff game could be very, very strong. Ooh, someone's serving someone papers. What is going on? <laughs> the way this like, f like knocked me in my face. The Queen of Swords is very sharp. She means what she says. With this contract here, I don't know if someone here is like done or someone is serving a person papers. Like you got served. It's giving you got served. This is the cover card. And I always say this is like a document of a sorts. Oh my gosh, <laughs> someone just got served. Maybe you served somebody papers. What is this? Maybe someone served a person paper. Ooh, the goat man fell on the floor. Someone won. There is victory over <sighs> the goat man. Like someone literally removed a pest from their life. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like if you were in an abusive, I don't know, contract, Work situation, commitments. It just feels like you got served, bitch. <laughs> You're out of here. This card fell on the floor. Goatman on its head. Victory after a long battle. Stipulated here again. Justice behind it again. And I shuffled, right? So it's kind of like... Someone's victory is being reiterated. They could have a female lawyer. Somebody who could be dealing with a female lawyer. Who served somebody some papers. That gave this one a run for their money. What is this? Ooh, emotional goodbyes. So there's this is there are emotions invested in this. Like I feel like a person here has cried over this matter, but it's over with. It's done. This is a goodbye. This is an emotional goodbye. Um, a person could also be crying having received these papers. With the six of cups, there were fond memories once upon a time. But I see somebody being very direct and cutthroat with this. It's like, it is what it is. Someone is serving a per person papers. Whatever this is, something is made official in a person communicating this. Maybe they have a third party communicating on their behalf. This could be, again, as I said, a lawyer. 
a representative death card. I'm telling you, someone is on the chopping block and this is like doing it officially. It's kind of like when some yo <laughs> when someone receives this, it's like I just feel somebody's energy just like because it's over. Whatever this means, it is over. There's no going back. You got served papers. I don't know what this is. Somebody here, I'm just getting this energy of a person getting served in a way where maybe they have not restrictions at this point. Somebody here could have served restraining order. Um, there's something here where it's like the relationship, the situation, this contract, whatever it is, you and I, we're done here. Like, <laughs> and it's like, if you didn't understand it then, I will have you understand it now. Queen of Swords, Death card, the document, and the Bye Bye card of the Eight of Cups, the Gold Man on the floor, it is done. There's something here of a karmic contract also being severed, okay? It wasn't a good contract. <laughs> That's kind of why it's like, I feel someone has no like, there's no looking back for whoever this is. They feel relief doing this. There's no, whoever this is, they've grieved this already because I don't feel sadness. I don't. For whoever is serving the papers or whoever is making something official, I don't feel sadness. It's like they were waiting for the day to really just have this official. Um, somebody here could be doing something in a formal way as well. This is like, I'm making it official, but this is done. Don't know why. Someone here wants to move forward <clears throat> from eight cups to nine cups, which is wish fulfillment. But it requires giving up those eight cups first. It requires letting go of something that doesn't serve us anymore emotionally, even for us to be able to head into a new direction that does fulfill our emotional needs. Emperor, dang, that's claiming authority over one's life. This looks good. We have Capricorn here as well. Someone is done. Done, 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 done. Four of coins. Four of coins. Somebody here could have been very greedy where financial matters are concerned. Somebody here could have also been trying to take a person for their money. I'm seeing this hungry, hungry hippo hovering and using this little puppet. And <laughs> this literally says bank, B-A-N-K, okay? I, the Four of Coins is also known for greed, um, stinginess. Someone here could be um, very much so into like monetary things. There's a gift shop here in the image. I just get a vibe of somebody here who could have been very materialistic or possessive of a person, a situation. Hmm. Anything else? Judgment. Oh, tower. No. <laughs> Why am I saying these cards? There could have been a tower. This could have been a tower. This feels like a tower moment for someone. Whoever this is that is receiving on the receiving end of this, this is a tower moment that someone is moving on. It is actually the chariot. Okay, I feel like the divine has been waiting for this person to do this. This person feels compelled. This is Cancerian energy. This almost feels celebratory that this person is doing this. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel like a negative thing at all. If anything, it feels like a good thing. Someone is happy to move on. Somebody is happy to move forward. You know what? And it's so funny that I say the tower accidentally. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. I didn't even know that. The tower. <laughs> someone's ability to move forward is a shock to someone's system. It uproots their entire world. They're not prepared for this. So it's like, wait, what did you say? Come again? I don't know why. Because I don't know what this is. <laughs> there go my phone. Justin, I'm telling you, this is like contract over. This is dead, done and gone. This is buried. I feel like somebody here is serving a person papers. What is this? To a Yes, that same card from the top of the reading, y'all. Somebody did this like uh, quickly. This is a quick decision. Somebody used the courts or the courts moved on a person's behalf quickly. It literally took somebody... It's like it came out of left field, something like that. It's like, what? I don't know why it's so thick in the air, y'all. <laughs> but literally, it feels like a tower moment for somebody. That a person is so ready to move forward. What is this? Queen of Cups. 
So remember about the Queen of Cups, this could be a character, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone here could be doing this because they want to move forward. Wait, let me let me rephrase that because I got the Ten of Pentacles as well. The Ten of Pentacles is everything. A stable future, a home. Somebody could also be possessive over properties because this fell right beside the possess the possessive card. Somebody here could be possessive over um, a business, a property, or just an ish ton of money. Or someone's savings, I'm hearing. <laughs> Something could be like a person's savings. I'm also hearing something about insurance. I see somebody here. There's a character here, nonetheless. Water sign energy. I do have Cancer and Scorpio out prominently. What is this uh, Queen of Cups character on? This could be the person who served papers. This could be the person who is receiving these served papers. The world. Someone here is closing out a cycle. This is getting wrapped up. The conclusion is made. I have a death card. The world. <laughs> Oof. Emperor. This is to me like a person feels small beside an em this emperor. Because the emperor says it's over. It's over. Like that's what it feels like, guys. This emperor is an authoritative energy. He got a rifle in hand at that. I don't think I'm going to go against whatever he decided. <laughs> That's what it feels like. The world, it's done. Someone here feels small beside this authoritative energy when it comes to this decision. Now, the Queen of Cups can be a water sign. It could also be an intuitive feminine energy who is in their feelings. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. Either they're the ones putting something to rest or they are being put to rest, okay? Because you can flip genders at any given moment. I literally see somebody going into hermit mode. Somebody literally might, like, disappear for a while. Do you see how this hermit is in the coffin? <laughs> and somebody is nailing the coffin. I'm telling you, someone is literally putting them in a box. It's like, <laughs> it's so weird to me. But it feels like, okay, you, if you are this nail polish, right, and you were a person in my life, this is what this person did. <laughs> so this feels like you can't put somebody in a box, right? This person did. It's like, if you were to have a place in my life, Oh yeah, this one. Oh, let me just. <laughs> That's what this person did to someone. It feels like you are getting put in a box and you are getting shipped away from my life. Like that's what this feels like energetically. <laughs> Who is this? Who is doing this? This hermit force. Or I also feel a little bit embarrassment here. It's like, dang, you could have just get rid of me so quickly. That's like that's what this feels like. Somebody is ghosting somebody. The hermit could definitely be a ghosting energy. Like, I just don't want to be bothered right now. This could also be somebody putting themselves in a box and not wanting to deal with anybody. But I felt the first. Like, <laughs> yo, why is this energy like this? The magician. Yeah, because someone is trying to manifest a new start. Tell me what I'm feeling with this Four of Swords, Three of Cups. Someone could be, yeah, Spirit is saying there's something here, a third energy that is past, or it's time to likely give up a third energy. There is something standing in the way of someone and their manifestations. There's something standing in the way between a person and what they have been trying to manifest. And it's time for that manifestation to come in. Okay. The Six of Pentacles. It's time for balance to be restored. So when I get this like off balance Three of Cups, there's a third energy standing in the way of someone and what they want. And it's literally getting put in a box. <laughs> I feel like it's a person too. Strength, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. I'm telling you. Someone here is writing something. Somebody here could be writing a personal letter. They might have to swallow their pride for something. I always say that about the Knight of Swords. Because this Knight of Swords is literally swallowing a sword. 
someone here is writing something <laughs> very intensely. I'm telling you, communication this season, or even right like in the next few days, is so important for whoever this is. They are intently writing something or ordering somebody to write on their behalf to make something official. This communication could also like silence a person for some reason. I don't know why, but it's like that little initial shock. It feels like a tower moment for somebody to receive, I feel, this written letter. It's official. This could be someone cutting off a person that was part of a karmic chapter in some way, shape, or form. Because again, I feel like this person is embarking on new beginnings and this individual, they know they can't come with them because I just get a vibe of somebody standing in the way of something a person wants and they are doing this. Strength card, Leo energy, by the way, is also something that requires courage. It requires courage to do this, to say something. For some of you, they're saying something that they have kept down a long time. I mean, this person could be pulling the sword out of their mouth and speaking up or putting it away. But either way, someone here maybe is biting their tongue about something or, to the contrary, saying what they need to say. And it requires courage to say this at all. Like, it just feels very, this is it. You know what I mean? This could also be a person cutting off a family member. The Ten of Pentacles is very big on family expansion, legacy. The sun, I'm telling you, this person is doing this for a brighter day. It's like, you are standing in the way of something I really want. I've been wanting. I've been trying to manifest for my life. And you are not going to do that. I, I don't know if somebody's communicating this. Like, the energy behind what this person is communicating is, I'm done. And you are not standing in the way of what I want for myself. Like, that's what it feels like, guys. This is a big freaking deal. This person has been fearful of doing this. This person's mind... And emotions have been challenged. Eight of Swords, the moon. This person has been petrified to do this, but I feel this is someone who's like, yeah, no. <laughs> it is time. The energies are pushing this person. The fool. I'm telling you, they have new beginnings ahead. You know how many times I've seen monarch butterflies in the last, like, week? That's another thing. I saw 777 three times today. I saw it on a man's jersey. He had 77 here. And then I saw a glimpse of the number seven on his shirt. And it literally said happy. And then I saw 777 on a license plate. It was H777. And then on my <laughs> playlist, there's a song called 777 that started playing in the car. And when I grabbed my phone, I noticed it. I don't know what's so um well I had a reading about the number 777 and a person entering likely a seven year cycle that's gonna look very different from the last karmic seven year cycle. Um and in that reading I mentioned something having dated back in 2016. Um this has also something to do with Saturn, okay? I feel like there's a lot of karmic cycles that are being closed out, shaken up. And I see somebody really just <laughs> making the most of this energy to have their new beginning and get rid of something that doesn't serve them. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone is sacrificing this this chapter or sacrificing this person in their like from their life. To me, the hangman is like, you're out of here. <laughs> okay. Usually I would say somebody is shifting their perspective or there's an awakening. I feel like this is an awakened person. They're very, very much so aware. The fact that a person shouldn't stick around anymore. I don't know why this person is so problematic, but when I see the goat man, I know it's problematic enough. Somebody here could have a very dark attachment. Somebody here could have had a very codependent situation going on. Somebody here could have been downright evil, okay? <laughs> Whoever this is, somebody could have been very controlling, possessive, money hungry with the four of pentacles. Whatever it was, I feel somebody is literally making it official for some of you with help of a third energy that it's done. Somebody here can't cross the line. There's certain boundaries in place where someone can't resurrect this. I literally feel a person being put away. Oh man, the seven of swords just exposed itself to me. Someone here could have been deceitful. The seven of swords exposed itself. It's so funny that I was just going to show you these cards with the coffin. 
and then, then the Seven of Swords in this deck is so fitting. Look at this image. You see this one sitting at the edge? This person is going into a phase of self-reflection. I don't know if someone here is either going to prison or has come out of prison, but I'm getting this vibe of like, you are going to be put away for a while. I don't know why, y'all. It's creepy. Someone is literally putting a situation to rest. And I feel like by the time whoever, this is someone going into their seven year cycle of reflection for their, I'm hearing heinous acts, heinous crimes. What the hell? <laughs> Something could also be an arrest warrant. Seven of Swords. That's deceit, lies, treachery. This says hope and reflection, but it's the Seven of Swords. It's like, you see how this, this guy is balding by the time he's, he comes out and is on the edge of the, the coffin and is like, what year is it? And here he's still got all his hair. Someone is putting a person to rest and it's like, you can go sit there and reflect on what you've done. <laughs> Somebody literally could be going to jail, y'all. I don't know why it's coming out here all of a sudden, but any her. It really feels like, yeah, I have to, I have to do this. This person, mm -mm. this is the <gasps> that I felt, y'all. It's giving, like, I don't know if the neighbors are looking at this person, like, somebody's neighbor could be a female. It's like something is exposed, but it's a brighter day for somebody. And someone is like, or the person who is getting arrested for some is shocked. This is, I don't know why this feels so, let me get Tasha's deck, yo. Something is shocking. It's shocking. The same energy that I was enacting is this is this right here can i get an energy here what is this about yo my head all of a sudden started hurting cougar Ooh, <laughs> somebody here could be into younger schmen yeah there's a yo this is the four of pentacles person for some of you it is the queen of cups or a queen of wands that is getting in trouble conceited stuck up and spoiled cougar sexually experienced enjoys younger men there is someone here who could be into like younger you know for pleasurable reasons anyways and it's like this is someone who's in their bag you see how she's flashing a stack of money this is someone who's like conceited, stuck up. This is someone who gets their who gets their money. I don't know how they do, but they get their money now. I'm getting a character. It is the female I'm hearing. There is a maybe a female, but you could switch it. Because I do see male energy as well on the cards. <laughs> Something just feels so weird about this story. Word is bond, keeps their word, does what they say, means what they say. Hater. thirsty wanted to come out someone is going to jail my lizard i'm literally getting i got the energy of an arrest warrant or like this person being put away maybe they have seven years to do in prison four or more someone's literally getting like put in a timeout y'all look at the car 5-0 police arrested precinct do you see that? I'm like, why does it feel like this person is getting put in a box? They're getting put in the slammer. <laughs> it's making sense now. I'm like, you can't put a person in a box. But you can put them behind bars. No way. I don't know if somebody wanted to get rid of a person. I'm going to see. Page of Swords could also be a watcher. I see body here. I don't know what a person attempted to do or tried to do. Why am I seeing body? No way. I'm seeing the tower. I'm telling you, something is shocking. The moon, hidden intentions. Why is this person getting arrested? Well, 
Why is this person getting served? Because I'm trying to keep in general, but I really feel somebody could go to jail. Not even fronting. Queen of Swords. For some reason, something has to do with financial payouts or exchanges. This one kept coming out. That's how my reading started. This Queen of Swords could be very important to this case. This could be a female detective, cop, or lawyer. She's very important to this case. She, keep, she came out twice. Seven of Swords. There could be a very tactful person that tried to Seven of Swords a masculine or vice versa. The Seven of Swords wanted to come out. For some of you, there's a person here who's very slick or they use their wit. This could also be a scorned ex. Okay, man or woman. Somebody did something with a contract. They either signed something illegally. They could have forged a signature. Something is also giving identity theft here. They lied about a document, okay? Someone here lied about a document. They acted really impulsively with the Knight of Wands to the Moon. They should have thought twice. Ace of Cups to the Magician. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Ten of Cups. Something has to do with family, maybe children as well. Maybe somebody used something on behalf of like family, a family member or a child concerned because it has something to do with to me, this is like new energy. The Ace of Cups is new family members when I get the Ten of Cups as well. But the Ten, the ten of Cups is family. The Fool. Ace of Swords. This came to light. The Deceit came to light. With the struggling Two of Pentacles, it's like where there was doubt and insecurities about a person and their level of integrity. The, the deceit has been exposed. Somebody could have done something for financial reasons, but the deceit has been exposed. And I feel somebody here, yes, y'all, this is, they have, they, there are consequences for this. I'm telling you. Someone here is having a new beginning for some of you. This contract, somebody here could be getting compensated for what this person attempted to take or do. Ugh. Oh. They're obsessed, y'all. The sun exposure. That's why it's a happy day for someone. Somebody found out something that is going to expose a situation. I'm telling you, this is jail time. This is a timeout for a swords. It's like, this is imprisonment. This is reflecting on why you're imprisoned. Because something somebody saw shed a huge light on a case. Yeah, this is about a lot of money. Somebody was trying to figure out what to do about a lot of money or how to get a lot of money. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Whatever they did do. Why do I feel like somebody tried to cash out someone's savings? The Seven of Pentacles is investments long term. Like this is giving ROI. It's like the return on my investment, the fruits of my labor. Um, you know, the harvest phase after a long period of saving and investing. Something here took a long time to accumulate. When it's in the reverse, it's like dumping it all out, taking it out. Maybe somebody took it, took it out over time. Something has a lot to do with, I feel theft, but like uh, concerning a lot of money, y'all. A lot of money, y'all. I don't know if somebody was like trying to hide this. I'm also hearing overseas accounts. Nine of Cups, this person wanted to drain someone's account. Like, I don't know what this feels like. And what is that on the ground? <laughs> the fool yo someone could have been alerted i'm also hearing suspicious activity someone here was like alerted they weren't sure what happened they needed somebody to clear things up and i feel that's when something went wrong that's when somebody needed to fight for something okay that's when somebody that's how somebody started losing what they were so greedy for this person Five of Swords, criminal activity. This person did it blindly, y'all. It's like, how do you do this and think you get you can get away with it? And they had help. Tower, it blew up in their face. I feel this first is strong is going to jail. Four of Cups. It blew up in their face. They didn't get the result they thought they were going to get. I don't know if this... Look, <laughs> all this money, this abundant future, denied them. Four of Cups is a rejection. Why? Because they thought they, they did too quickly. 
they move too quickly. I don't know if somebody also wanted to be rid of someone. The death card is here. Make it look like an accident I'm hearing. Something could also be like insurance fraud. I don't know y'all, this is making me sick. This is how somebody won a case. Yeah, man, they really put their work in this criminal activity. People here put their back in this criminal activity. The seven of wands, somebody here is protecting, is protected, protecting, likely another person. The six of cups is here as well. Someone is gaining a victory over like something that happened in the past. <laughs> what a weird reading. Weird. Like I just feel weird. Something feels super weird. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I also feel someone here is really, I'm just, I don't know why. I just feel like, how could one be so stupid? How could you be so stupid to think that this would not lead back to you? I'm hearing like conversations and a person thinking an idiot, a person is an absolute idiot. It's like this person is, I'm just getting like a person insulting another because it's like, how could you think this was going to work? How did you think this would have a good outcome? You know what I mean? Yeah, this is going to ruin this person's reputation. People are gossiping or will gossip about this person going to jail. Something might end up on the news. This person might want to reach out to someone here. Yeah, this person thought, I'm telling you, identity theft. This person thought they were smart. They did something anonymously or using another person's identity. Guess what? It was all about the money for them. Okay. This person could be a little older. Or they just prey on younger men or women. Because I don't know why. I just get this vibe of somebody who like... <laughs> they act a lot younger than they are. And I don't care if this person's like 40. Okay? They act a lot younger. There's something immature about this person. But it's about the finances. Someone's paranoid that an individual is done with them as well because of this. It's like they made a deal with the goat man and something backfired, essentially. Oh, man. I just feel really sick to my stomach. I just feel like someone's stomach dropping. I really feel a person so shocked. There's an arrest warrant for someone. Okay, and for others of you, a person is done with them because of something they've done. Unexpected income. Somebody here could be getting money for this. Whoever this is, they have thoughts about moving forward with their life for sure. This could also be concerning another. With that empress, sudden well, I'm telling you, this is someone who... I don't know. This is about money. It's all about money. Somebody here could be getting their money back. Y'all are going to lose y'all minds. What is that? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven. It's almost like somebody... It's like they get a lot out of having won this case. Or somebody owing a person now because of what they stole. Or something here is like... This is unexpected money to a person who could have been a victim of this situation. Damn. This message of concern is the same gasp I felt of a, of a, I feel a karmic individual. It's like they're shocked to read something, shocked to see something. With journey, a person is out of there. For some of you, someone is shocked to hear that a person is going, maybe to jail overseas. I don't know why I feel that or to jail in another state or something. And for others of you, there's a shock that a person is turning their back and a person is, is left out in the cold. It's like, this is the divine literally turning the wheel of karma around. It's like one person is getting blessed over this situation. Another person has to deal with the consequences of their actions. And they're not going to feel right about this because it's like, why did you have to go about things in a grimy way just to end up here? 
That's how the cycle completes. This message is a big deal. Somebody's mother could also be very disappointed to hear the news, likely from a cop. There is a very spoiled person. This could also be an older woman, okay? If someone's mom was involved, they're in despair when they get this news. It's an official letter. I can't make it up. Someone is going to jail. Oh, man. <laughs> Whether it be this masculine who was probably living beyond their means or this feminine living beyond their means. But guess what? The thief is found out. Thief in the reverse. Some of the, someone, This could also be a couple, both of them going behind bars or one person going behind bars. It's like, this is this is what greed does to people. You see how stupid they look now? It's like, you dress all fancy, but this is where you end up. I'm telling you, mark my words, <laughs> this is terrible. Thief in the reverse is the exposure of a thief for some of you. This was a family member that did this to another family member or stole from another family member. I'm gonna leave it there, you. That's what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.